It's never nice to find that you've been replaced, but that's the exact feeling that pro players Atachi, Seiko and Juicy felt in late 2023. All of a sudden, these three players, who were part of the most dominant teams of all the Rocket League, were now without a team and now the leftovers of Rocket League. But little did everyone know that these three players would set in motion one of the greatest sequence of events in Rocket League history. Our story begins on January 5th, 2024, when the players of Atachi, Seiko and Juicy would announce they were forming a team under the name of Gentlemates. It consisted of a former world champion, a major champion, and an unproven prospect. But in spite of this, a lot of people would write off this team, and it's because they were the leftovers of Rocket League. They had been replaced on teams which many considered much better than them, specifically two teams in BDS and Carmine Corp, who had replaced Hitachi and Seiko only a couple months earlier. And just to make it even harder, they would also have to contend against the current reigning world champions in Vitality. If it wasn't obvious already, Gentlemates mates were the clear underdogs and almost everyone would write them off going into their first event. But it's in this first event that Gentlemates would start to prove everyone wrong. Uh, Gentlemates, they have to be the underdogs in this one and wanting to prove their opponents wrong, wanting to prove now as well, Shogun, the community wrong. Citizen of their own in Jirali. You know, the second Moroccan on the scene, he is going to have the oh, first goal to get the next goal. Yeah, this is where we spent an awful lot of this series. Oh my goodness, Juicy! On the back pod, that's not a good clear though. Directly into the path, now Juicy. Has he got it? Yes, he oh, has! He's got it! He snipes it! Been good enough! Gentlemates have got one more chance at this. It's off the kick off! Oh, oh, are you joking? You are absolutely joking! It's a kick off, give us an overtime goal. Please, that'll do. Okay, we're into midfield play. Juicy's got it though. It's not good for Vitality. He's got a foot to work with. He centers it, and it's in for Seiko! Gentlemates end the streak! Teams were forced to fight for it in the last semi-finals. Vitality finally eliminated from an event, and then you've got <laughs> shots like that from Atachi! Well, but also had the ability to move on to the hook shot. Kadon would be proud. Oh, oh he's done him! Champions of Europe once again. And Kometo's Valiant Warriors have finished the job. Well done to them. And still, what a run by Gentlemates to make the final, to come back from two down against Carmine Corp, to make them work for it. Gentlemates had shocked the entire Rocket League community, and even though they didn't end up winning the regional, a top two placement was far beyond what anyone had predicted for them. And all of a sudden, the Gentlemates encountered something they hadn't before. They now had the weight of expectation on their shoulders. And unfortunately, in the second and third events, they couldn't live up to it, not even making the top four in any of the events, starting out so well and then falling short. And the start of what would be a recurring theme for the Gentlemates. Gentlemates will be pretty disappointed with themselves. They did not play with the same aggression, the same conviction that they did in their grand final run in the first regional of the split. They're gonna need to go back to Toronto. Gentlemates barely ended up scraping in to qualify. And as the last team to qualify from Europe, no one really expected this team to do much. Which brings us to Rocket League's biggest stage, known as the Major. Rocket League fans around the world, welcome to Copenhagen. 16 of the world's best Rocket League teams have come to Copenhagen with one dream. Standing on this stage and lifting that trophy. In the midst of all this, Gentlemates was far from the first team you'd expect to dominate, especially now that they were up against the world's best. Their run would begin in the Swiss stage, a ruthless gauntlet that, with this level of competition, would be a tough challenge for even the very best. Most had Gentlemates struggling through the Swiss, either barely making it through the last round or not at all. Little did everyone know that one of the greatest underdog runs was just about to begin. With Gentlemates versus Rule 1. Getting really near them, couldn't get close to them all there at that first event. And now they've got to worry on the line. Is, that's a fantastic Ooh, what a skip. Is on the angle? You're kidding! Oh! No respect! It's not quite. Right spot for that, but you do expect it. Round one off the Swiss, it's a long game, and it's actually, oh, what a double! Fatigue setting in, four minutes of overtime, there's the shot, Juicy fires! Oh, oh, Gentlemates, oh, take down rule one! Here, no, some kind of a back pass, or it's Seiko, gets him on the attack, it's dropped down and in for Juicy! It's great to see the confidence, as fully returned to the Gentlemates roster, it's dropped down that middle for Itachi! Left and it's looking at Bartholomew! Oh. The ball is still up! Oh, 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 Seiko 
Nico going to try and drive this one towards net. Can he get the book play? No, Itachi goes for the follow-up. The clean. Here they come. Whoa. Juicy with a shot on target. Killers with a save. Send this one off. This one could go in. It does, and it's safe. Though. The Falcons and, Ita and TRK over one. Killers is over the top of him, is it? Yes, it is. Gentle masterclass, and he's going to take a shot of his own towards the crossbar. Double oh. on the goal line. Oh. Juicy with the finish. Gentle Bates are going to Saturday. Gentlemates will play against Gen G Mobile One. Carmen Corp will play against Team Falcons. A rematch. Gentlemates had surprised everybody, sweeping some of the biggest teams in the world. Gentlemates and Furia. I'm not sure they would have been my two picks for three and zero. Fantastic performances. From but the playoffs would be a tougher task, starting with the NA Super Team of Gen G. Gen G had only a year ago won this exact same event in astonishing circumstances, and it's since upgraded with one of the best players in the world, First Killer. All the talk was about Gen G, and even with their incredible run, Gentlemates still went in as the underdogs. But it was obvious from the very start that they didn't care at all. Out there, amongst his teammates, obviously the major winners. Out there, you're calling it, it's gonna be a touch -in. Perfect start for Gentlemates. Picking up where they left off in the Swiss stage. Oh, and maybe one more! Major chance, but hang on a minute. The demos come through. Could this be wide open for Seiko? It is. But managed to do it. Keeping Genji close. And that's going to be the third goal. Itachi is popping off. He decides to pass it off to Jack. Jack. Let it through, wasn't able to continue. Gentlemates started out strong, taking the first two games and forcing a stun Gen G to take a timeout. And this is where things started to go wrong for Gentlemates. And there's a bump. It looks like it might have even been a double bump. Particularly on land, something we always speak about is if you're going to lose, lose playing your way. That's an interesting touch coming through. Jack's up, loses it. The first killer in net, clear downfield. And how about a third goal? Feels like they've swapped places here, these two teams. It's Seiko with a huge win! Wonder throughout the series, and deny and a touch is really off, but he's just completely missed that one! Oh, my oh, on the board! To flick, a nice little joint play. It's a beautiful setup for Jack, who is upstairs. And first killer with the shot on! Mistakes, and that's been the difference here. After that game three, they're just sitting back a little bit, and oh my goodness, Jack's gone low! It's a big dive, and it's gonna be a wide open net first kill doing much, does find the infield pass, it's off the backboard, but apparently Jack, there to break up the play, it might even just bounce in, it does! Gentlemates would take a time out of their own to try and kill off this momentum, but unfortunately, it wouldn't work. First right pass. For Jack, it's a shooting opportunity, the shot is placed perfectly! Watch one touch. more, he gets the, the pass, back the pass. first killer, backboard oh. touch, Sanko misses! And all of a sudden, Gentlemates found themselves on match point. Jenny clutch up. They are one game away from being the first team to take down oh Gentlemates. My. As game six started, it once again was Gen G dominating. And this series looked all but over. Connie's got an open net. In this moment, almost every team would fold, but not the Gentlemates. We'll keep on it. Say go. To the backboard, gets bumped off, no double, but the rebound goes here into the corner. Just over a minute left, both sides. You feel like next goal might just win this. And it might be the same goal! What did you do? Flip Spirit killers up, makes the reset, misses. Ball trying to be down, still got to be alive. Gentlemates, fourth Champions Field. Game seven, Champions Field. Here we go. It's a free touch, Jack's gone. Oh, He's over the defense. A touch has an open net. Oh, first killer is in a little bit of trouble. A touch is right there. Goes low shot on one. Follow up. Fight down. Nerves on steel for gentlemen. Quick down. To do that on chair. Hang on a minute. Well, haven't we seen this from Europe before? Right when you think this is about to be settled. It's an awkward touch. Ten seconds left. Here we go. Apparently, Jack gets the shot. It's wide. The touchy just looking for the ground. Gen G looking for one more. Johnny won't be able to get there. Gentle mates persevere.
The Gentlemates had done what no one had predicted them to do and now found themselves in the top four teams in the entire world. But their run wouldn't get any easier, with them now having to face the favourite to win the entire major, a familiar foe in Carmichael. That was the same team that had beaten them in that very first grand final. And if beating Gen G was an upset, beating Carmine Corp would be a miracle. Give me Carmine Corp, give me the blue wall. I gotta go kick him. I'm also predicting K-Corp. Carmine Corp, the clear favorites of the match. Still may standing in their way. I am joined by CJ. It's our second semi-final. But once again, Gentlemates would come out firing. I must be going crazy on Twitch. And shout out to everyone watching back at home. And that just made me wide open here. And Tachi's got the second on the board for the gentlemen. Who's there first? It's going to be Atachi. Set long for Tira to catch. You keep it up though. He's got a beat as well. There's Atachi. I thought he wanted a better one there. The demo came through. Matira's trying to keep it in the air. Juicy wants it on the ground. Atachi might just get one more. Gentlemen's game one. Game six. He brings something similar here today. Rice right, is very awkward, Juicy. Here we go, back one short open again. From Seiko, just pushed to the side. The gentlemen still on attack. There's a lot of boost and pressure. Atto, that's not the best clear. It's wide open and safe, no! The ball cannot eat fast. The defensive, they're sitting as well, Rice. All he can do is pop it up. The fake comes through. The shot goes down. And once again, they would force a timeout out of their opponents. This is why they call him pretty much undisputably the best coach in the world. I think anyone, anyone could say that. He just does not lose. It's a problem for gentlemates so far, but it's repeatedly. And once again, things would start to go down. Atto with more than enough boost can get the rotation. So Tira there, no, yes! Yes, no! Short in that blue half, anything to the ground. Rise face. KC secure their first, no one home, but it's open at the back, a double chance! Do you want it? Here's the space, it's just Atto, he's just throwing the kitchen sink at it! Oh! Oh, three boost, the man's central, it's Seiko! But the floor is found and KC move into the fifth, drawn utterly level. On the inside that down, finds Vatira to the back board, it's going to be awkward, Vatira's not there! to be here for Matera now up high. Just takes and burns these seconds off the clock. Now, zero second place, onto the ceiling, down to the ground. Carmine Corp on series point. And general mates, ever since that game two win, have been absolutely stunned. They've lost three on the bounce now. How do you stop this momentum? Final general mates. Can they force seven? We've seen nothing the past few games to suggest that. The gentleman is just a little bit too eager to follow up. Juicy with space, reset around one, fake around two, there we go! For that third man attack. Midfield again, Atto shoots, very low on target! It is Ren who got flying in as well, Rise misses. Charles Viteric send it low instead. Atto and the boys want to finish it in regulation. He's going to take it up, he gets the bump. Viteric, we saw Atomic do it last series, didn't work there. Shot directly on target, cleared away. Juicy wants to go backboard. He's up, it's central, it's on target! It is Juicy! And we got game seven! Here we go! A chance. Juicy, anyone central? He's on the crossbar, he goes down for the top, he's not together! But Atachi does! Upset of the century. If gentlemen can get this one out on the open net! And with three minutes remaining, Carmen Corp have come back from these positions previously. Sees Vatira, gets the touch. Vatira well, takes it low with a block on the goal line. Another chance! The deficit is won! It's oh, in the ground. Chuchi's on it. Eto has to challenge. Blocked out. Full skill up. Rice. What can he do? He can't quite get it. The a tap. Seiko. Bumped. No. Chance now. Atto up high. 50 boost, but now it falls again. Gentlemates, to the ground, this ball has to go. Rise is the one to help it, they're still held high. Still Side high. wall, Atto, any chance for a ball to hit the ground? I'm losing my voice, I'm losing my breath. Rise, has space, does pop it, ball out! Gentlemates, make the ground final! They do the unthinkable! They double the Titans! Carby Corporal out! Long reign, gentlemen! 
Gentlemates had won the unwinnable game and now found themselves in a position that no one could have predicted. On the brink of winning the biggest Rocket League event there is. G2 had dominated North America throughout the split and had just come off beating two of Europe's biggest super teams in Vitality and BDS. In spite of everything Gentlemates had done so far, G2 went in as the favourite. We got G2 and North America's coming back right now, Dabs! This was their big moment. These three players, who everybody labelled as the leftovers, who nobody rated and nobody thought could win, had the chance to do the impossible. The question was, could they do it? Are you ready for your grand final? There's a trophy on that stage waiting to be claimed. One final challenge for the title of major champion. The green suits are out in full force, but the G2 army marches against them. It all comes down to this, your main event of the Copenhagen Major, who will have their one shining moment. It's Gentlemates and G2, it's your grand Taken away by Juicy, and quickly on the play is Itachi after this. Down. This will angle downward. Can anybody get there? Yes, they can. Well, how about this effort out of G2? Winner loses. Finally, Alfie. Hey, kick is easier said than done right now against Gentlemen. Oh, what a beauty! He's got it right through the eyes. Big time moments here, but still can't break through for an equalizer. Another.
select now. And he's staying with the play. Just about. And Atachi was there too. G2 can't break out. And Atachi can't make the save. Senko right at him. Time to be missing the net here. You're approaching the final minute. You're down by two. You've worked it hard to get to this far. Is it just to let it go? Light touch here to Beast Mode. Plays this off. Double. Atomic, another infield pass. Daniel High, Zinko Miss. Oh, he got the rebound save. G2 still keeping the offensive pressure. Beastmo back to Atomic. Atomic gets the bump out, but Zinko big clear. 30 seconds now. G2 still fighting. They're winning some of the challenges here in the midfield, but they need a little bit more. This one off the back wall. Daniel got the 50, but he's sending G2 back. Uh, Daniel, oh, what a win by Itachi as well. Forces Daniel all the way back. 15 seconds remain. Can Kento make finally go to Atomic for the demo? Another Daniel in front now, and Tachi cleared. It wasn't on target, and that's sliding down field as well. As Atachi done it again on Neo Tokyo. Yes, sir! Gentle Mates had actually done it. They had proven everyone wrong on Rocket League's biggest stage. But what makes their story so special is their journey to this moment, from being the leftovers of Rocket League to now major champions. There's nothing quite like this story. The story of Gentle Mates.